We have linebacker Josiah Trotter. Questions for Josiah, Greg? Josiah, so just start with um, in the second half. You guys held in there and held in there, but short fields hurt you. What, what was what were you guys doing well the second half? Uh, I feel like we did a better job, you know, just uh, everyone just knowing exactly what gaps we're supposed to be in. Um, but at the end of the day, we didn't execute when it came down to it. But I feel like we did a better job at least knowing what gaps to be in and uh, at least what everyone else was doing. Converted a lot of third downs. There are, mm -hmm. It's a lot of third and shorts. Just hard to keep them from getting the two, three yards they needed. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was, that's the that was the hard part about it. Um, something we just got to go back and look at and look at film, uh, especially on those third down conversions or fourth down conversions. Uh, something we definitely have to clean up that hurt us. They had a 17 play scoring drive, a 10 play scoring drives. How disheartening does that become as you go into those drives, where you're just like you're trying to get off the field for whatever reason you just came. Yeah, I mean, you, got, you just kind of find a way, especially, you know, when you start getting the red zone, you know, just got to bow up. Like we say, you just got to bow up at some point and, you know, try to hold them to field goals. But, you know, that's the hard part, you know, in those long drives, trying to figure out how to stop, especially, you know, when you get to those third downs. But, you know, we guys got to go back and just do a better job just getting them off the field. Any emotions right now? What's it, that like in the locker room? Just, you know, frustrating. Uh, we felt like it, it should have been a closer game, and that was a game we should have definitely won. Uh, and we came in this game really confident, but you know, of course, frustrated, upset, just a lot of different emotions. But the biggest thing is just keeping guys together, and just at this point now, just having to go back, look at the film, and you know, focus on next weekend and just fixing the mistakes. What was the mood of the defense after the interceptions, and how difficult was that, even stamina-wise, and you guys having to go back out there? No, we just know we just got to go out there and just try to get a stop. Um, and best thing we can do is try to get the ball back for our offense and allow them to try to go down the field and score touchdowns. Unable to get them to really make mistakes, not many penalties, no turnovers. Is, it, is that difficult, I mean, to try to defend when they're just pretty much air free? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, if there's no penalties or, you know, no turnovers, you know, turnovers are really big in football. And, you know, if you can get turnovers, that can really change the game, even one. Um, but not to be able to get any, you know, it's pretty hard, but we got to go back and then try to do a better job, you know, try to cause turnovers and, uh, you know, yeah. And how frustrating, especially defensively, were the mistakes on West Virginia's end. You had a couple bad penalties. You had that busted coverage mm -hmm. from the first Iowa State touchdown. Uh, how, how tough was it to kind of fight through those mistakes? Yeah, no, it was it was pretty tough. I mean, we can't we can't control any of the pe penalties. You know, we just have to go out there and play ball. But uh, definitely uh, on the busted coverage, you know, just something we just had to communicate on the sideline after the fact. Uh, once it happened, it happened at that point. Uh, but try to get a fix so that way it doesn't happen again, especially later on in the year. What happened with that with that coverage? Yeah, Did just two, uh, two different uh, calls were kind of. Um, or two different calls kind of went out, and people were kind of saying just kind of just kind of just mixed up with calls. Really, that's that was really it. Was anything said in the locker room after the game in terms of you know rallying for the rest of the season, or was the mood, or anything like that you can share? Yeah, uh, just one, you know, just trying to keep everyone's mood together and just not you know going back and forth. Just you know leaders just having to step up and talk. But the biggest thing, just knowing that, you know, this is the first loss in the division and knowing that our goal is ahead of us and we just got to focus on f fixing these mistakes, going to next week and just preparing for Kansas State because uh, we have another ranked team coming in and we have a chance to go out there and be able to change the uh, scenario. Okay, anything else? All right, thank you very much.